Captain Falcon, unquestionably Super Smash Bros. best character, so appealing that he can go more than a decade without a new F-Zero game without losing popularity. A character so confident in his own skills that he shouts the names of his attacks before even making them, and whose signature move is signaled so far in advance that you can see it coming from space. A character whose every action, including his victory pose, epitomizes the phrase, weird flex, but okay. The question isn't really why should you play as Captain Falcon, it's why would you ever play as anyone else. So to celebrate New Zealand Bird of the Year, an actual real annual event in which much of the country gets into furious arguments over an election where we vote to determine our favourite bird, I decided what better way to do it than to do a painting that's also a tribute to Captain Falcon. Okay, let's get started. We'll begin by painting the entire canvas yellow for reasons that in hindsight make absolutely no sense. Now draw your falcon. Start with the circle, then draw an oval, then draw the rest of the falcon. Rinse all that pointless yellow off your brush and then paint the canvas white. While we fix that, it's time for Falcon Facts. The New Zealand Falcon's Māori name is Kararia, which is far better than New Zealand Falcon. It's endangered, which is not awesome, and it can fly at an incredible 230 kilometers per hour, which definitely is awesome. For those of you in the two countries that don't use the metric system, that's over 150,918.7 inches per minute. And then get ready for the stage of the painting that I like to call 50 Shades of Brown. While the stage never looks particularly good, it is important to make sure you're laying a solid foundation for the rest of the painting. Now watch as I slowly push a borrowed easel that I will quickly come to hate out of shot across my brother's slippery tiled floor. Lay down some more brown and then pop a couple of painkillers because over the last day or so of painting you've completely ruined your back hunching over an easel that you've managed to set up at precisely the wrong height. But you can't change it now because it'll ruin the camera setup. By this point you should be starting to add detail which will make the painting look much nicer but will also exponentially multiply the fear that at any moment now you are going to completely muck it up. Get rid of that black dot of paint that's been annoying you for the last however long and start to add a few highlights. Fall over after kneeling on the floor for an hour at which point your brother will arrive home and sensibly suggest using one of those chairs that are just sitting around the place. Now that you're sitting down, add a bit more detail to the feet and then borrow your brother's motorbike glove. Sketch out the outline of the glove on the canvas and mix up the appropriate colors. Realize that you've painted white over the one bit of the canvas it would have made sense to leave yellow. Call your wife for validation. Stick your hand in your palette and then hold up a shoe and look at it thoughtfully. Spend several hours adding detail that absolutely no one will notice, but you will, and are somehow crucial to the entire painting. Now taste the painting. If it's delicious, it means it's just about done, but it's still missing something. Go have a nice cup of tea while you wait for inspiration to strike. Now normally I'd call this painting finished, but I've realized exactly what this bird needs, a hat. Unlike the other birds and hats that I've painted, having a hat on this bird actually makes quite a bit of sense because there's a long history of falconers putting hoods on birds of prey and oh god, I've, I've ruined it, I've ruined everything. Well, can't stop now. Better get this paint drying. I've got a plane to catch tomorrow and only a day of paint time left. Painting, much like grief, has seven stages and here I'm able to demonstrate most of them. The first is anger. The second stage is asking your family members to help you understand exactly what's wrong with it. And the third stage is panic singing. Can you man? 
me a jar of love. <laughs> Hurting hearts need some healing. Well, sorry about that. The next stage is accidentally kicking your camera. <laughs> oh, I've reached that stage of the painting. And then we come to the sighing and incomprehensible gibberish muttering stages. Followed swiftly by the frenzied swearing stage. By now, after about 30 hours of ignoring family members you haven't seen for years, the painting is just about complete. So it's the perfect time to almost knock it to the floor. Do the last few tiny details and it's finished. No wait, now it's finished. Well, that was fun. The fact is, I am really proud of it. And I think Captain Falcon would be too. And it'll all be worth it when you vote New Zealand Falcon for Bird of the Year. Yeah, weird. Um, um, right here. Did I bend his fingers this way? <laughs> you leave my paintbrush out, it's alive. No, I'm fairly confused.